Hi, welcome. Marianne here. It is Wednesday, August 14th. I did go to my WW meeting today. And I gained 1.8. Okay, so this is the third Wednesday since I had a life-changing moment in my life that I'm not discussing here on YouTube. I made a life-changing decision in a flight or fight situation. I chose the flight in the moment. Um, and here I am. My routine has changed. So I gained. So it happened on Saturday and then I've had three Wednesdays since then. So it was point, uh, 2.2 .2 gain, 2.6 gain, 1.8 gain. Hey, it wasn't over two pounds this time. It was just slightly under. So that's an improvement. Uh, so that's what? Four, five, point eight, six point six pounds in three weigh-ins. That's not good. Uh, I have to get myself back on track. So yesterday, I uh, kind of closed the door on my job. I returned my uniforms yesterday, so got that out of my face <laughs> and uh, on the way home is Disneyland so I have a pass to Disneyland so I uh, went to Disneyland for uh, a bit I decided at Disneyland that one way to get back on track because of the change in routine I'm not getting as much activity I decided oh big truck I decided that um, I'm going to do another 30-day walk at least one mile per day challenge. So I did a little over a mile yesterday. Or no, did I do two miles? Not sure. Let's check my Conqueror Challenge app. Open up. Okay. So I have 15 points five miles left on my Road to Hannah challenge. Okay, so view distances. So yesterday, yesterday I did 1.54 miles. Today I did 2.35. So, so far I'm on track on my challenge. Yesterday the food wasn't good. Today's my weigh-in day, so I started tracking food today. I have not been tracking my food. I haven't been tracking my food very well since they took it off the website. So there's that. <laughs> but I'm trying. It was easy to track my breakfast because I scanned the oats. I scanned the cocoa. Um, I made chocolate oats. It was good this morning with banana. I cooked a real banana in with the still cut oats and a tablespoon of cocoa, sugar-free, unsweetened cocoa. So that breakfast was, uh, what, five points. I didn't put any walnuts in it. I think a tablespoon of cocoa was, I don't think I need to put that much because it was really cocoa-y. It was good. It was good. So today I went to the fair and did my walking there and had a good time. I didn't stop and look at anything. I just kind of just, it's a nice place to walk. They have a restroom. I walk through the park, go to the fair, um, picked up a couple things, didn't eat any of the food. I made a short video today where I kind of showed the food I was walking by and passing up. But no cinnamon rolls today. No deep fried Oreos. So that's there. So I need to get back on track because that's almost 7 pounds of my almost 30 pounds loss. I'm down to 21 point something now. What does it say? 21.8. And I have my 25 pound uh, charm that I got. I've been putting them on here. I have two old ones and then these were the ones that I got. These four or five, because five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five I got at the meetings. So, yeah. And, of course, today the subject was, which kind of ties in. It is, I'm not going to go over the whole thing. Let's go here, go here, discover content. Deal with a setback without blaming you. Well, I do blame me. I'm not going to blame everybody else in the situation because I made a decision. I'm the one who left. 
I'm the one who um, has to uh, get a routine going and uh, I, I take the consequences of my own actions. I, I take responsibility for what I do. Um, I'm not going to give them credit <laughs> for me making my decision. I made my decision all by myself. And then that kind of set a snowball effect um, into everything. Well, how to deal with a setback without blaming yourself. It's, it's like thinking about it, right? You can rewind the tape. How were you feeling? Why did you do that? You know, edit your story. What could you do differently for a different outcome? And then watch version 2.0. So, you know, that maybe next time you can get through that obstacle a little better, right? So next time I'm going to take a moment before I make a life decision. I mean, it was a decision that was already kind of made that it was going to happen probably by the end of the year, just not when I did it. <laughs> did it early and in a way that I would not normally do it. I would have let people know I was going to do such a thing. <laughs> when it just said, ah, then. <laughs> that's what I did. And now I got to get back on track. Here goes another big truck. What is going on? I got to get back on track. And um, How do you handle a setback? What kind of things do you do? Do you sit and reflect or do you blame yourself and feel guilty and eat more? Or do, do you sit and reflect and, and think how can you handle it better next time so that you're prepared? How can you prepare yourself so that you don't have a setback? I'm prepared. I have the food. I have everything I need. I have my walking pad. I have my treadmill. I have ways to get a walk in even if I don't step out that door. It is... I don't know if you can see 88 degrees inside my apartment right now. I don't have an air conditioner, so I do have the fan blowing. <laughs> the only thing, I got up this morning, I forgot to bake the chicken. So I baked the chicken around, <laughs> around 12.30 this afternoon when it was hot. I'm like, oh, yeah, I could have. I've never used my air fryer or anything like that, and I really didn't want to boil the chicken. But I baked it, and I had a really good big salad for lunch. I haven't had any snacks today, and it's not that I'm restricting myself from snacks. It's just that I know some of this weight gain is inflammation from eating sugar and salt and ultra-processed foods. I got to get back on my, I got to keep my cholesterol lower, that type of eating. So I've only had whole foods today. Well, the cocoa is processed, but... All that, the only ingredient in there is cocoa. There's no added fat or sugars or anything else or any added sodium. It's just cocoa. That was good. And I typically, I would after, since I, when I was working, after Weight Watchers, I'd go do all my shopping afterward, go get my quarters. And then I'd be starving because I don't have breakfast before I go. I just have coffee. Be I have coffee before I go weigh in. And I weigh in in my shoes and everything. But I don't eat any food. So I'm hungry. So I'll usually drive through and get like a salad or something at a drive through restaurant. Which is more points than the salad that I make at home. Or if it's not more points, it's not as much food as I can get for my money. My, you know, much bang for my buck, my points. I make a much better salad, <laughs> in my opinion. So this morning, before I left, I got the laundry done. I made some. I made the oatmeal before I left, and I put it in a food thermos that I have. And when I got home, it was ready to go. It was warm. Ate my breakfast. Walked over to the fair. So I already ate before I went to the fair. So even though I was looking at those cinnamon rolls and those deep fried Oreos and they have deep fried avocados, why would you ruin a good fat with unhealthy fat? I haven't tried them. It's probably good, but that's a lot. Of, I don't think it would be good for digestion in my case. But yeah, it all looks good. But anyway, who's with me? Who wants to get some activity? So I want to walk in different areas different places not the same place every day i have my route that i walk 
And um, I don't know where I'm going to go tomorrow. I'll probably just do my route tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to. Because I am going to the fair tomorrow evening. i got to go to church in the morning because I didn't go this afternoon. It's a holy day of obligation at our church. Uh, so I'll go to a morning mass, either 6.30 in the morning or 8.30, depending on when I get up. And then i got to take a walk. But tomorrow night, I'm going to see Rick Springfield and Richard Marks. And I'm in row two. And I'm excited about this concert. I just... It's going to be an acoustic evening, which is going to be a little different from the Rick Springfield that I've seen before. And Richard Marks will be fun, too. I've never seen Richard Marks. So but anyway, I'm just going to sit back and row to and enjoy the show. So, But I'm going to walk over there. I, wa I walk over there, even though I had to pay for parking to get that seat. I don't like after the concert. It's about a half a mile for me to walk. It's not far. Uh, it ends up more than half a mile by the time I get to the amphitheater, but I can get there and park. I can walk there faster than I can go park there. I can get home faster than I can get out of the parking lot. So, and it's a safe walk home because there's plenty of people walking. It's not like I'll be by myself or anything. So it's, it's pretty safe and it's not far and it's not going to be freezing cold. So, I'm just going to enjoy the show tomorrow night. Um, if I'm going to be retired, I'm going to enjoy being retired. So, Just not ready to be retired yet. I just can't think of what I want to do. I only applied for that one job. It doesn't look like I'm going to get an interview, but that's okay. God opens doors when it's the right time. So we'll see. Maybe I'll just enjoy my retirement. I, I have to decide, though, because... I have to sign up for that Medicare, and I have not started collecting my Social Security yet. So I'll have to pay for that Part B out of my, you know, it's not, <laughs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Hey, it's not, it's not a fight or flight decision, though. It's, I'm thinking it through. I got to see all the health benefit plans. I got so much to do. And that's the silver lining of not having to go to work because I have time to research all this stuff. And I had time to go to a seminar to see the Medicare stuff last Saturday. And I went at my medical group and the agent that works with my medical group, I gave him my phone number because he knows when the postal plans come out, I got to do some comparison. I'm probably going to stay with the postal plan and not go with a Medicare supplement plan. I do have to sign up for Part B to go with my postal, but I just got to see the see what's covered and what the costs are. And then I'll probably have to pay for my Weight Watchers myself starting next year. But that's okay. I got to get to coal, and I got to get to Lifetime. But I'm going to get there when I get there. Um, sometimes slow and steady, you win the race, right? And you can keep the weight off. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to go make me some... Little talk, little chicken tacos and some pinto beans for dinner. And, um, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like if you like what you see. And uh, let's encourage each other in the comments. Thank you. We'll see you next time.